Hello everyone, welcome back to Adira's Easy Talks. So, we are continuing the MCQ session question series. So, today's topic is from module 2 from the VHC English syllabus. So, uh, as usual, I have added the answers in the last slide. You can check out the answers after doing the whole set of questions. So, without wasting much time, let's move on to today's presentation. Question number 1. Matthew Arnold's Touchstones were short passages, even single lines of classical poetry besides which the lines of other poets may be placed in order to detect the presence or absence of high poetic quality. In his study of poetry, Arnold cited touchstone from such non-English poets as Homer and Dandy and also from the English poets Shakespeare and Milton. Which English poet did he disapprovingly call not one of the great classics in the list below? Question number two. She was a worthy woman. Ah, her lover. Ah, her love. House wounds at church doors. She had five. In the prologue, Chosa represents the wife of birth as one, crude and vulgar. Two, outspoken and boastfully licentious. Three, a witness to masculine oppression. And four, bubbling with vitality. So you can find the correct op option according to the code given below question number three out of the gospel he the word court and this figure he added a uh, there too and that if gold rusts what shall i do in the prologue the parson is represented as a man one who loved money two who criticized the corrupt clergy three who practiced what he preached four who was a poor but honest clerk question number four the seven deadly sins are sought to be portrayed in Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Which of the following sins is not covered by Chaucer? 1. Jealousy 2. Envy 3. Lust 4. Homicide The right combination according to the code is given below. You can uh, find out the right answer there. Question number 5. How did Chaucer's partner make his living? Option A, by selling stolen cattle from the Canterbury neighborhood oatry. B, by selling indulgence to those who committed sins. C, by pardoning those who stole property or committed other crimes. D, by assisting the friar in church services. Question number 6. When Chaucer describes friar as a noble pillar of order, he is using Question number 7. Chaucer satirizes the monk because the monk, option A, is too concerned with courtesy and manners, matters of etiquette. B. Cheats the poor peasants by selling them false religious relics. C. Courts favor of wealthy people but spends no time with poor people. D. Spends too much time hunting and too little time on religious duty. Question number 8. In Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, the pilgrims, like the medieval society of which they are part, are made of three social groups or estate. What are they? Question number 9. Which of the following works offered his readers as a collection of strange, surprising adventures? Question number 10. Richardson's Pamela has had its origin in A. The real case of a woman born to lower middle class parents B. An elementary letter writing manual C. The general plight of English women D. The suggestion of a friend to defend middle class values Question number 11 Which among the following is not a counter text to Richardson's Pamela? Question number 12. Who does Tom marry at the end of the novel? Tom Jones by Fielding. Question number 13. In Moore's Utopia, the fictional travel traveler Raphael Hitzelde's second name in Greek means Question number 14. In Beowulf, Beowulf accuses Unferth of 1. Pagan beliefs 
two killing his own kid and kin three unchecked atrocity four unproved unprovoked war question number 15 in mors utopia there are 54 cities all bend on a similar plan and distributed over the island such that each city is surrounded by agriculture lands what does the agricultural labor in utopia sorry who does the agriculture labor in utopia Option A. Agriculture labor is performed by slaves. B. Adulterers and other criminals are forced to work on farms. C. All citizens stay two years stints at farm work. D. Farm laborers are brought in from ailed countries. Sorry, elite countries. Question number sixteen. Supplume is a character in. Actually, this question should come in the uh, in the first session, module one. Question number seventeen. Mors Utopia displays strong influence of number one, the Arthurian legends. Okay, I haven't given the question number, and the answer is given in the slide. So when you look at the answer key, that uh, answer key, no one has time. It is in the question considered. Just yeah, that one. Number it is ordered. That one answer check. Yeah, it is ready. Question number seventeen. Why are Scott's novel called Waverly novels? Option A. His novels are set in Waverly. Option B: The Waverly Castle has a significant role in his novels. C: Waverly, in his first novel of that name, is a model hero for the protagonist of Scott's novels. Option D: Scott started his novel writing career in his forty-third year with the novel Waverly. Question number eighteen. In the late 17th century, a battle of books erupted between which two groups? A. Cavalier and Roundheads. B. Abolitionist and enthusiast for slaves. C. Champions of ancients and modern learning. D. Welsh and the Scots. Question number 19. Spencer's Epithalamion is a. Option A. A wedding hymn. B. A sonnet. C. A ballad. D. None. Question number twenty: Who calls Spencer the poet's poet? Charles Lamb, Matthew Arnold, Sidney Wordsworth. Question number twenty-one: Spencer wrote no language. Who said this? Option A: Ben Jonson. Option B: Doctor Johnson. Option C: Dryden. Option D: Matthew Arnold. Question number twenty-two: Which of the following rivers are mentioned in Andrew Marvell's poem to his co-mistress? Option A: Thames and Rhine. Option B: Thames and Ganges. Uh, option C: Thames and Ganges and Humber. Option D: Thames and Humber. Question number twenty-three: Which novel of Daniel Defoe was considered to be the best by E. M. Forster? Question number twenty-four. In Thomas More's Utopia Book Two, the reader is told that in this new world there are few mistakes in marriage because a prospective husbands and wives are one another naked before agreeing to the match. B there is an extensive courtship period preceding the actual wedding. C the family gods are invoked before finalizing the nuptials. Sorry, nuptials. Then D there is a community get together where prospective husbands and wives. Announce wedding plans endorsed by elders. Question number twenty-five. One of the less noticed and acknowledged distinction of the Canterbury Tales is that a. It upheld the idea that we cannot divorce poetry from knowledge because poetry itself is an object of knowledge. B. Instead of revealing England's division, it revealed in its diversity. C. It altered us to term Octa, someone who is both an originator and one who gives increase. The best description for Chaucer himself. Chaucer himself. Option D. It married domesticity to divinity. The baker's loaf with the bread of life. Question number twenty-six. Had we but world in a fan time, this coiner's lady were no crime. But at my back, I hear time's swing chariot hurrying near. Andrew Marvell in these lines emphasizes the theme of option A, love. Option D, love and transience. Option C, love and political passion. Option D, love and flattery. Question number twenty-seven. One of the flexible meters dash is a foot, five foot line 
full stop it was introduced by jeffrey chaucer in the 14th century and has since then become the commonest of meters in english poetry question number 28 edmund spencer's epithalamine is a carefully structured poem carrying dash corresponding to the Question number 29. In Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, the pilgrims, like the medieval society of which they are part, are made of three social groups or a state. What are, what are the states? I think the question is reputation. Okay, you can do it. Question number 30. Which of the following work is celebrated as a national epic of England? By this year come the end of the questions today's questions uh, so you can check out the answers in the answer key or answer in the question uh, number so that you can see the answer in the answer the answer already in the question so question number in the order you can check out the answers in the answer so uh, in this presentation module 2 in the revision class series that you can see the module Two in the revision class series of MCQs and cover I module one in the revision class series of MCQs and cover I tonder. In the other module three revision class of Chase tonder, module three in the MCQ session would end the channel upload in the next class module four in the revision class on a in each and another. So, e classical day lamb than a link channel description box. So, thank you.